market vendors are usually romanticized and idealized in Pinoy art. The Palenque always looks so clean that it makes you want to go there. But that's only when you view conservative and quote-unquote marketable market scenes, where the aim is to make the everyday beautiful. And then there's the type of work by the likes of Nune Lucio Alvarado that shows us a more stylized and realistic version. Unlike the first three paintings and the others similar to their style, the women in Alvarado's painting are not as young, slim, and glamorous. We can't even be sure if they're women, especially in today's gender-bending world. The one on the left with the yellow pintadas outfit can go either way, but the one with the pink and blue geometric shapes has more estrogens than anyone in the painting. The way she hangs the basket on her soft, round arms makes a strong case for this assumption, while the one with the ponytail in the center can't be presumed to be a she. Perhaps Alvarado made his figures androgynous intentionally. Perhaps he grew up where doing the marketing is not necessarily a woman's work. And of course, not all vendors are women, no matter how often our masters paint them female. It just occurred to me how Alvarado may be pioneering in his work here by showing us men and androgynous figures in a palenque scene. Regardless of their gender, the figures all look alike. In a way, I guess that's how it is for us, the customers. The vendors all look alike to us. We don't bother with what they look like. We just remember their stall location. Alvarado calls his work Labas, which means fresh in negros. Only the fish are fresh, and rightly so. It's the only way to sell fish. The fish baskets also occupy a prominent place as they sit atop an invisible pyramid. The figures inside the pyramid carry the main focal point of the work as it is in the center of the canvas. Although we see many figures with varying profiles, only the one with the ponytail has his or her face hidden from us. And it is interesting that he or she is at the tip of the pyramid. Who is he? Who is she? And why is he or she given prominence with the mystery surrounding him or her? How are we to appreciate his or her position when we can't make out who he or she is? The other figures inside the pyramid are the sellers. A market scene can never be complete without a seller. It can be without a buyer, but not without a seller. One is clutching money while his or her capotindera looks at him or her. And then we have this guy feeding a dog with fish. Who he is and why he is doing that, I do not know. I just know the dog belongs to the buyer in the Pintado outfit. Outside the pyramid are the supporting cast. Going by the white cloth wrapped around their heads and necks, they are the cargador. This one on the extreme right looks like a security guard. I'm not a regular at wet markets, so I can't be sure if a guardia in uniform is a staple. And speaking of staples, we may have a pyramid to show us the painting's focal point, but the fish in the baskets are atop it. They make an infinity symbol. It even forms an inverted pyramid where it seems to say fish encompasses everyone and everything from macro to micro, from the days of the pintados to contemporary abstractions. Fish is life. Together with our fisher folks and vendors, they are essential. Art is essential.